Yo, it's Doomsday, 2007, last event of the year, it's Christmas time, and I smell Santa Claus giving us something nice, something gold that goes around your belt. You feeling that? I'm definitely feeling that. You know what? I am bull... Oh, sorry. Two. Yeah, it's Doomsday, 2008, 2007, whatever. Staples going to the ring tonight, early Christmas gift. Don't get that belt, don't get that gold. Don't be good. You know what? Fuck Santa Claus this year. I am taking my own gift. I am taking that belt from all five of those competitors in this match, if you want to call them that. You know what? Each and every one of those guys basically suck their own dick to get into the fucking match. They suck fucking moody stars fucking tits to get their own title shot in that fucking match. Fucking what the fuck is that? I'm the real number one competitor. I won Hellbound. I was the first champion of Hellbound and forever. And they all get their little title shots? I mean, hell, Carnage was out for like four months since sitting yeah, on his ass, that, ass eating fucking nachos at Taco Bell or something. I don't know, but he got a title shot. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Happy Kwanzaa! Tonight is Doomsday. And I am the greatest Doomsday 2004 champion of all time. There ain't no doubt about that. But since it is the last special of the year, it has to be the best. Doomsday. Now we have Fo as our WAW champion. Fo's the man, no doubt about it. He's one of the best champions of all time. And we have Christian Sane, who's taking his title shot rematch back. He deserves it. We also have Joey Staples, who's taking his Hellbound number one contendership match. He deserves it. And then over here we got me, little freaky deaky Flax, who had a floating title shot when he lost the belt before Legacy. I deserve it. Now what do we have over here? We got Gino Diomedes, who has lost the last two title opportunities he has, yet he's still in the match. Alright, I guess that's cool. And then we got K-Man, who also took a floating title shot like I did, but back in Annihilation, yet he's still in the match tonight? Alright, I guess that's cool. We're all connected, people took each other out different ways, and this has been one hell of a couple weeks leading to this match. But you know what this is? This is WAW. This is the greatest wrestling promotion in the world. And tonight, at Doomsday, the winter event, we, six-man main event, best main event of all time, WW is fucking up Doomsday. I made my return at Hellbound, intending to win the Hellbound Championship. But Flax got in my way, and Joey Staples won instead. So I thought to seek vengeance on Flax. All along, while he inserted himself in between the title and myself, by first coming in to the Hall of Fame challenge and costing me the title when I had FO beat, then putting himself as the special referee with my one in my one-on-one -on -one title shot with FO. I have been blessed and cursed all at once by Moody Star. She awarded me a title shot. All along, knowing Carnage has vengeance of his own. As for Christian Sane, we are no strangers. Know this, surround me by hate and damnation, and I will triumph it. Surround me by my enemies, and I will strike them down without any remor remorse. I will defeat five opponents to become five-time WAW champion. Tonight, we're here at Doomsday. It's gonna be a six-pack challenge. And know what I have to think about it? Who cares? Because everybody knows that at the end of the match, Christian Sane is gonna regain his WAW championship. And now I got a little setback. I mean, Gino Diomedes gets a title shot. Carnage gets a title shot. Flex, I guess he had a title shot this whole time. And we got Staples, the Hellbound Champion. Hmm, Staples, Staples. You were on my alright list until you, uh, kind of hurt my- well, okay, you didn't hurt Michael because if you hurt Michael good enough, I wouldn't be here right now and take it back my title tonight to continue the reign of Satan. And Epo, I didn't forget a single thing that's been going on between you and I. That's not gonna change tonight, Epo. Watch your back as the reign of Satan is on once again. Doomsday. My kryptonite. Tonight, I'm gonna right my wrong. First, Sin comes at me and puts a smear campaign against my career. Well, I went out there and I won the title fair and square. Submission and pinfall. And tonight, I'm gonna right the wrong of Doomsday. Tonight, I will win and I will walk out the WWE Champion.
Ladies and gentlemen, here is the main event of Doom Day 2007. A six man final death tag in match for the WAW Championship. Only two competitors are legal at any given time until they tag in another competitor. The competitor who tagged out has five seconds to leave the ring. The first legal competitor to defeat another legal competitor by pinfall or submission will be declared the winner. It's ring first, heading from Red Rock, Colorado, the Dark Messiah, Chico Diamonds! It is now main event time here at Doomsday 2007 WAW Championship Six Man Sudden Death Match Tag In Rules. For the WAW title, here comes entrant number one, the Dark Messiah, Gino Diomedes, who was awarded a floating title shot because of the outcomes of his two title matches involving Epo and the interference of freaking Flack. And as soon as he was awarded that floating title shot, Gino feels he was manipulated into taking it here tonight. Entrant number two, the Dark Stalker Christian Sane, who made his return on the last edition of Aftermath leading into tonight's Doomsday for a six man tag team match where he teamed with Epo and Freakin' Flax, only to turn on them in the end. His placement in this match is he comes in hellbound, he lost the WAW Championship to Epo, and before he could take a rematch, he suffered an ankle injury at the hands of Joey Staples. Christian Saint here tonight at Doomsday, taking his Hellbound rematch. Entry third, accompanied by Nuri Miller, hailing from South Boston, Massachusetts. Barbara Joey Shingles! Next up, our third entrant, the man who feels that he has been slighted in this title picture leading into Doomsday. He won the Hellbound match in the Hellbound Championship, thus guaranteeing Joey Staples this match here tonight at Doomsday. But he did not think for one moment that there would be four other participants involved beside himself. He thought it would be himself against WNW champion Epo, and then a slew of events on Aftermath led to four other challengers being added. Joey Staples, the 2007 Hellbound champion, has the right to this match along with everybody else. His placement here tonight is thanks to winning the 2007 Hellbound Championship. And here comes our fourth participant, the go with the most freaking flax, who unbeknownst to most of us was still holding on to a WAW championship voting title shot that he was awarded after Captain Vincent Zarella was stripped of the gold in May of this year, just prior to Legacy, freaking Flax crashing in his floating title match here tonight for Tuesday 2007. That's how he's here. Floating title shot cashed in, but go with the most. Freaking Flax will look to become a two-time WAW champion here tonight at Doomsday.
We've seen the videos for a week about the resurrection of Carnage, and it is now here. Carnage making his return after a four-month absence thanks to injuries suffered in the body bag match. Carnage was awarded a floating title shot because Gino is the man that screwed him out of his floating title shot at Annihilation when Carnage took it in the team division to help the Cult of the Dead. Carnage returns here tonight at Doomsday to challenge the WAW Championship. comes a man looking to score his first win at Doomsday in the event's history. A man referred to as Mr. Legacy is far from Mr. Doomsday as FO will look to defend the WAW Championship successfully and gain his first win at Doomsday as he is 0 for a million at Doomsday. Well, not really 0 for a million. When it was called Silent Night, Deadly Night in 2001, FO lost the WAW US Championship to Blitz. There was no Doomsday in 2002. 2003, FO lost the WAW Championship to Q Chaos. 2004, he lost the first ever Brass Knuckles on a pole match, the first and only to Shatz O'Vanigan. In 2005, he was a WAW Team Championship loss to Asylum alongside Puma as the big top players so Evo is 0 for 1, 0 for 2, 0 for 3, 0 for 4 at Doomsday. He will look to reverse those fortunes here tonight by walking out still the WAW champion. This match was a six-man elimination tag-in match. Joey Staples used his match clause to change the stipulations at the last moment. It is now a six-man sudden death tag in contest for the WAW Championship and this one is about to get underway. Just backed up into Carnage and he is running out of here quickly. Carnage back for one thing and that is vengeance on Gino Diomedes. I wouldn't be too surprised if winning the championship wasn't at the top of this list. Gino continuing to run out of the way of Carnage out to the floor. And now we've got Joey Staples hammering away on Carnage. Carnage now back in Staples into the ropes. Close line missed. And only oh, gonna somehow with drop by Carnage on Joey Staples, who works his way out to the apron. Now Christian Saint in. And oh, sidewalk slam. Try and cross the streams on Carnage. I'm just dressing. Going underneath. No. Wait a second. Double choke slam on FO and freaking Flash. Carnage dominating things to start off this main event of Doomsday 2007 for the WWE Championship. And now Carnage chasing Gino out of here. Well, looks like we're down to four men. Thought this was going to be a six-man sudden death, but apparently now we're going to have a four-man sudden death. Carnage chasing Geo Diomedes out of here. Whether they're going to return or not is irrelevant at this point, as it is now four men out here battling for the WWE Championship, and it's Christian Sane and freaking Flax going at it. Go the block, take down by Sane, going off the ropes. Leapfrog by freaking Flax, and a monkey flip. 
Close line missed by Sane. Flax off the ropes. And this is a takeover by the Go of the Most on Christian Sane. Irish whip sends Flax into the corner. Here comes Sane. Nobody home there. Freaking Flax up. Going for the tarantula. He's got him locked in the tarantula, but Red Guy calling for the break. Oh, we got a spear by freaking Flax. Excuse me, by Gino on Flax. Here is Carnage in behind. He's going after Gino as well. It's sudden death referee can send people back to the corners, but he can't disqualify anybody. It's not elimination. It's sudden death. So we're going to cover. Gino bridges out. What do we got here? Backslide by Flax. And we only get two. Almost had a new champion there. The dynamic of this sudden death, ladies and gentlemen, is that Ethel can lose the WWE Championship without even being directly involved in the decision. Same tagging Gino Diomedes. <laughs> hey, wait a second. What is this? Double teamwork here. Nope. No double teamwork from Sane and Gino. That would have been quite the sight to see. But not as much as what we could see here. Six men lined up. What do we got here? Six man suplex. Echo Carnage and Freaking Black suplexing over the competition. We've got the two men who were originally scheduled to be in this main event. Echo and Joey Staples going one on one here. Sunset flip attempt. Oh, Staples has Echo by the throat, brings him up. Echo breaks the hole, hammer away at Joey Staples, off the ropes, over the back. Got him up, roll him up, going for the cover, and we only get two. Echo now comes off the ropes, up on the shoulders. Going for the victory roll, he's got it. Cover, and we only get two as Staples kicks out of the victory roll. Oh, kick right to the jaw. Right to the jaw and the chin of Effa. Staples called for a close line from Southie, but he gets pulled out to the floor by Christian Sane. Effa now hammering away on Sane, backing him off. And Spinebuster by Sane. We're going to cover. We're going to count in Staples. Pulling Sane out to the floor. These two have some bad blood. Oh, double drop kick by freaking Flax. Hits both men up. That was my foot in your chest. My foot in your chest. What's up? Flax now. Double dog and knocker on Staples. No, no, no. Flax now has Staples, has Dealer, has Sane, and Effo is up on the top. Flying crossbody takes out Flax, Dealer, Staples, and Sane. Wait a second, Staples. Is that Staples climbing the top? That sure looks like it. Hey, cameraman, show us who's on top. Flipping set time by Staples out to the floor. Of course, we didn't know it was Staples jumping until the uh, body came flying. I don't know what it is with some of our hired cameramen. They don't like to shoot people on the top rope. And now it's Carnage and Gino one on one. Carnage gets raked in the eyes by Gino Diomedes. Diomedes now climbing up to the top rope. Oh, a corkscrew sets on out to the floor, taking out the competition. Gino's on the floor, Carnage in the ring. All right, usually when we see these, we get crazy runs of guys flying off the top rope. But is Carnage really going to climb to the top? 
Oh, Carnage jumps off the apron and it proves deadly for him. Carnage never jumps off of anything. And he missed his targets. Everybody scattered when they saw the massive body of Carnage flying at them in midair. Oh, kick right to the side of the head by Gino Diomedes. And an elbow to the back of the head. And again, another elbow to the back of the head by Gino Diomedes. Gino springs up in the corner, hammered away at Carnage. Five punches springing out and... Oh, a kick to the stomach, a flex and a clothesline. And a bulldog on Carnage. Gino Diomedes now with an arm bar locked on firm on Carnage. Carnage now trying to fight his way out. Trying to work his way back up to his feet. Irish whip sends Gino off. Gino tucks a close line. Spinning heel kick. Didn't quite get all of it, but got enough. We get a cover, we get a count, and we only get two. You saw the WWE champion Epo making a quick run for the ring. He saw that his title could have been lost there without him even being beaten for it. Caught the Hachame by Carnage on Gino. Oh, we get a Yakuza kick right to the side of the head. And now Carnage walks on the camel clutch. Oh, we get a Flex Master by freaking Flex on Joey Staples. And now Flex has the figure Flex locked on. Richard stayed over the top rope. Flipping into the ring. Breaks off the figure Flex. This is for all the ladies out there. Oh, pancaking the face. Circus Flash. Takes sitting down. Effo coming in with the Circus Flash. Effo hammers away. He's now got Joey Staples draped over that bottom rope. Oh, no. Could it be? Oh, Saints head going up into the crotch of Joey Staples three times. Oh, we get a spinning heel kick. Flipping neck breaker takes down the WWE champion. Carnage is there. Full Nelson slam on Gino Diomedes. Belly to belly overhead by Joey Staples on Carnage. And jump swinging neck breaker on Joey Staples. Flexes up in the air. Pancaked over into a DDT. Food to the stomach. Could it be the big top drop? No. The bottom eight. This is Gennamio. The reign of Sane resumes. We get a cover. But Gino is there to break the pin. We get a cover by Gino. Carnage breaks it. Cover by Carnage. Cover by Staples. All we need is a cover by Flax. And Flax not going to do it. Small package on Echo. Cover. Oh, we almost had three. We get some water in there. Going for the toss, selling, but a super kick by Christian Sane stops the toss salad attempt. Sane with a scoop slam called for the end here. He's climbing to the top rope, but it was there. And clutches Sane down across the top turnbuckle. What do we got here? Double power bomb and a big top drop. Oh, Sane gets dropped off the top with a big top drop and he goes to the floor. What the hell is going on here? Staples and Carnage trying to power bomb Epo. Black's coming in. Gino coming in. Oh, no way. No way. No way. What the hell is going to happen here? Power bomb into double suplexes. What impact there. Flax, Gino, Uffo, Carnage, Staples, all five men involved in that one. Oh, double clothesline takes down Staples and Carnage. Uh 
Bravo somehow up on his feet after being taken down there. Wait a second, Flax is up on the shoulders for a big top drop. Wait a second, headstone by Gino, no. Piggyback ride. No way, double big top drop. Double big top drop. Effo and Flax and Gino. Effo hitting the big top drop on Gino and Flax. Effo now heading to the top, but he gets pulled down by the dirty dealer who would like nothing more than for the WWE Championship to come to payback. Cradle free fall, could it be no? Carter trying to fight loose. Carnage going for maximum carnage. Yes, it is. Maximum carnage. Carnage with the cover. And we only get two. Red guy pulled from the ring by Dirty Dealer. And Carnage now stalking after the Dirty Dealer on the floor. Oh, and he hammers away on the Dirty Dealer on the floor. Oh, and Gino comes flying. I didn't even see him running. He just came out of nowhere and took Carnage out on the floor. Wait a second. Oh, that fool gets clapped on the top rope as Flax hits a toss salad. Lincoln Avenue's champion. No, he won't. Christian stayed there. And paralyzer. Oh, my God. What a paralyzer. Same now. Up on the top with Effo. Could we see a superplex? No, we won't. Effo fighting it. Oh, reverse suplex. Send Staples. Wait a second. Effo's up on the top. Effo splash. He hits it. We get a cover. And we get three. Effo gets his first victory at Doomsday. Not only that, but he retains the WAW Championship. What a night it has been here at Doomsday, ladies and gentlemen. My voice is just about shot, but well worth it. What a night of action from the opening bell to the closing bell here in this main event. The last event of WAW's calendar year for 2007 may, may very well be the best of our year in this commentator's opinion. From top to bottom, the syndicate got their first victory and secured a floating title shot in the team division. Grim made history becoming the first rookie to ever walk into WAW after a special event, go into the next special event and win that special events championship. Then we had history made as our first mixed tag team in WAW's history. Kevin and Katie, total chaos, won the WAW Team Championship. And then, in our main event, sudden death style, Effo. Well, he may have been 0-4 entering tonight, but he leaves Doomsday 1-4 at this event, getting easily the biggest win of his tries at Doomsday, successfully retaining the WAW Championship here at Doomsday. What a night it has been. The year 2007 is over. If you're watching on WNWWrestling.com, it's New Year's Eve. The year is almost over. It's about time for 2008 to roll in. Of course, if you're watching on public access, 2008 has already started. What a night it has been here at Doomsday, ladies and gentlemen. Top to bottom. Thank you for sticking with us in 2007. We know it was a rough beginning. We didn't start the year till April. But ladies and gentlemen, what an eight months it has been for WAW in the return. Ladies and gentlemen, be sure to join us in two weeks time as Aftermath will kick off the year 2008. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us for Doomsday. Thank you for your contributions. 
to the JTA Baseball Fund, and thank you for watching WAW. Good night.